If you've watched the first video in the E36 Touring build, then you might have noticed at the end that there was a bit of orange peel on the roof and on the hood. Now that of course needs to be sanded and polished out, and that's what I'm going to do in this video. I used to do lots of how-to videos for scale modeling in general and also on polishing. I've posted various different methods of doing the polishing by hand by machine, different machines, different polishes, and different techniques in general. Now for the how-to videos, I'm kind of running out of ideas, so let me know in the comments down below if you have a specific how-to video you'd want to see, and I'll figure out if I can do it and make a proper video about it. Please keep in mind that I of course can't do all of the videos and all the suggestions you guys make in the comment section below, but I will do what I can and if it's a reasonable idea, and I can make a proper video about it, of course I will try my best to make one about it. And now back to what this video is about. There is some orange peel in the clear coat and that needs to be removed, so I'm going to start sanding it off with some 6000 grit, using some water as a lubricant to remove all of the uh, rougher spots that get removed out of the clear, and just to take that away from the surface and not create more scratches. The first round of sanding is done, so I removed all of the moisture and did this a couple more times until I was satisfied to where I got with the 6000 grit and then moved on to 8000 grit, pretty much doing exactly the same as I did with the 6000 grit, but then of course with a higher grit, so I remove the rougher scratches from the 6000 and make them into the 8000 and almost getting it shiny again. With a couple rounds of 8000, it was time to clean it up again and move on to the final grit, which is 12000. If you're looking closely, you can also see that the first round was straight front to back movement, the other was side to side, and then this final round was done in the opposite side to side, just to not have the lines or the scratches go in the same route. And then I can see, of course, with the other scratches being straight back in front, and the cross hatch going on top of it if you've removed the previous layer of scratches you have created. With all of the sanding now done and the roof polished up to 12,000, it's time to move on from the sanding to the actual polishing. I'm using some polishing compound from Gravity Colors that they gave me a couple of years ago, and I really like this step to step from coarse fine to finish, and that goes alongside with the uh, harder pads from the polishing set to the middle and also the softest. So for this first stage, it's the coarse polishing compound and also the toughest of the pads, which is a bit hard and is easier to remove these rougher scratches in this first stage. Now you just need to take your time and go over the surface a couple of times, being careful not to put too much pressure or get too much heat into it and possibly melt the paint. So just move from side to side, top to bottom, and apply some more polish until you're satisfied with the finish of this first round of coarse polishing. With the first round of polishing now done, it's time to wipe that polish off and move on to the second, finer stage of polishing. Remove the pad from the first stage and go to the yellow pad, which is a bit softer and goes alongside with the softer polish for those finer scratches to be removed as well. The compound again is applied to the surface and then spread around nice and evenly before I started to carefully polish it out the same way I did in round one. The finer compound is really working out a lot of those fine scratches, but I decided to go over it a second time, spreading around the compound again and going over the entire surface once more.
With round two of the polishing now completed, it's time to move on to the finish stage. This is the softest compound to remove the finest of scratches, and also I again switch to the softest pad in order to go alongside with that soft polish, removing those fine scratches. And that's pretty much it for all of the polishing. The higher you start with the grid of sanding, the easier it is to get all of the sanding scratches out and the less visible they will be. The lower you start with the grid, so the rougher the sandpaper is, it's harder to remove those scratches and possibly even impossible to remove those scratches. So be aware of that. It's better to start with a higher grid of sandpaper with the finer scratches as they are easily removed with the polishing instead of going with a rougher sandpaper. Now, of course, a rough sandpaper will easily remove the orange peel, but again, the scratches are deeper and harder to remove. So in my case, I think it's better to start with a higher grit of sandpaper in order to make it easier on yourself in order to remove those scratches and get the nicest possible finish. Now, once the polishing is done, as you can see, there is some compound left in all of these cracks and crevices. In this case, it, of course, are the panel lines and that needs to be removed. There are various different ways to remove this. You can do it with a soft brush and some water. You can either just put it under the tap in the sink and carefully start removing it with a toothbrush. But I like to do it with a small brush first, just carefully removing the main bulk and then going over it with a bit of a tougher brush to remove the remainder. Now keep on doing this as much as you need to in order to remove it all. And also keep on checking in the meantime as it's easy to miss some of the spots that are still in there. With most of the compound now removed from the panel lines, I'm really happy with the way that the finish came out and I can move on to the rest of the build in order to finish it all off. Now again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm looking for more ideas on how to videos, keep it reasonable and I will see what I can do. Also, don't forget to check out my how to section on the channel as I already have made a lot of videos.